Welcome everybody to the quarter with my special guest today, Panthinaco's guard, Nick Kalathis. What's up, Nick? How you doing, man? What's up, Kyle? Good to see you, my man. Um, you've been with Panthinaco's for the majority of your career. Um, what has been your best moment or your best memory since you've been there? Uh, I think the best moment was 2011 mm -hmm. uh, when we won the EuroLeague Championship. Obviously, you know all about the, the EuroLeague Champions, <laughs> being a EuroLeague Champion. So, uh, you know, just that feeling where you, uh, you work all year for one goal mm -hmm. and um, at the end of the year, you can get it done. And we were a surprise. We were surprised that year yeah, to, I remember. to win it. So, it was a, that's probably the most uh, special moment for I sure. I remember, and you, and you had a big part of that. You made some, uh, you made some clutch plays, especially in the finals, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, tried to try to do something, you know. I wasn't the, obviously the main guy, yeah. but uh, I was to a little piece of the puzzle, so it was it was good. Now, Panthenagos, like you said, I mean, is one of the most historic clubs in all of Europe. Um, what is what is your favorite part? What is the part that you enjoy most playing for Panthenagos? Uh, I've always said it's like a family, man. When you uh, when you come here, uh, you play for the team. You know, everyone around, the fans, the the guys that you play with. Uh, it's really it is like a family, and. Um, you know, being away from home, it's uh, you get that the family vibe, and I think that's the best part. You know, there's uh, there's always ups and downs during the season, but yeah. you know, when you have good teammates and good uh, good organization, it's always good to be a part of. Now, speaking of uh, you know, good teammates, um, you played for some, you know, played with some amazing guys from you know Yamadidas to Mike James to now with Tyrese Rice and, and, and even before mm -hmm. with James Gis. Who has been your favorite teammate that you uh, played with? Man, I've had a lot. Like you said, you named four right. You named four right there that uh, that are at the top of the list for sure. I don't have uh, you know one certain, but mm -hmm. you know I played with great professionals. You know Mike Batiste, yeah. uh, Saris. Uh, I played you know back in the day. I played with some good ones, and then now you know like you said Tyrese, uh, Mike. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of special guys, and uh, you know I've had the pleasure to play with those guys, and it's been a lot of fun. Now, um, you've had the opportunity to work with Coach Bettino for the past two seasons. Um, you know, he's one of the, obviously we know he's one of the most accomplished coaches um, in all of basketball. What are some of the, you know, best advice that he's given you um, in your time working together? Uh, he's a huge motivator, man. He, uh, when he first came in the uh, team, he, uh, he definitely motivates you. He, he gives you the confidence to, to be able to shoot anything, to be able to, to play with anybody. And, uh, and that's what you need as a coach. Um, he came in and uh, brought a lot of energy, and you know him uh, being a Hall of Famer in the yeah. States. Uh, you didn't know what to expect uh, coaching in Europe because it's completely different, but I think he's uh, he's uh, gelled uh, well, and uh, and you can see, you know, there's ups and downs this year, but he's uh, he's proven to get his team uh, playing the right way. Now, he called you one of the best passers that he's ever coached and that he's ever seen. Now, I asked Derek Williams a, a similar question about his dunking, but what has been your favorite pass um, this season? I mean, because you've had so many, like, you've kind of, kind of electrifying passes. Has there been a pass that you kind of made and you're, like, just, like, kind of surprised it got through or, um, you know, a play uh, that, that's been kind of, like, more memorable for you this season? Uh, I don't know if there's been one play, but probably the one is out Garris when I got through between two guys on, yep. a, on a bounce pass, I think. I didn't think it was going to get through, uh -huh. but I got lucky there. And uh, that was probably one of my best passes this, this season. Now, we, we talked about um, a little bit about, you know, Panthenecos, and one of the biggest things that you guys have there is your fans um, at Oka. And for me, I mean, it's one of my favorite places to play, you know, come to. Um, besides Oka and besides the fans there, where is one arena um, that you look forward to going to and playing at um, in the early? I think you got to pick uh, Zagiris, right? Yeah. Zagiris, uh, every game, man, is, uh, it's rocking. Um, let's say they don't have the biggest budget. They don't have the, you know, let's say the high-quality players. But, man, when you play against them and their fans, uh, they bring it every game. So you got to probably give it to Zagiris and the Lithuanian fans. Yeah, I agree, man. I, mean, I, I enjoy going there. I enjoy playing there. Just like the, For sure. the atmosphere. I mean. Atmosphere. The arena. Yeah. The arena is unbelievable. It's, man, it's like an NBA arena. Exactly. So it's, uh, it's definitely a fun place to play. Now also, um, you know, your league has been at an all-time high level this year, especially in guard play. Um, is there a player that you look forward to matching up against? Um, you know, during the beginning of the season, it's like, you know, I'm looking forward to playing against this player. 
I mean, there's so many guards, like you said. Um, I don't know. I like playing against Mike just because he's one of my good friends, <laughs> uh-huh. and uh, you know we can talk crap to each other and still you know be cool off the court. But um, I mean, there's a lot of guys, uh, like you said. So I, I can't pick one. Obviously, you know Shane Michich. Uh, you got uh, Delane Malcolm over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, there's Sergio. There's a lot of guards, man. So there's not just one to go against. So you got to bring it every night. Uh, or you're gonna you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get destroyed. Yeah, I mean so for that's, me, I, I, that's the that's the good thing, you know. Yeah, for, yeah I agree. For being your league, I agree. I mean, uh, for me, it's it's uh, I have two that are kind of like James Gifts because me and James have been playing against each other for a yep. while. Each other, we've been wow, man. Pantanaikos, yeah, days for, for, a uh-huh. time, for a long time, for a long, long time. So like this, this similar to the relationship that you would have, you and Mike have. You know, we're good friends off the know. court, so we're playing on the court. It's like, you know, we always have that kind of that, you know, that competitive vibe. And then uh, Tavares, just because, man, he's just, he's, he's almost like a puzzle Monster. that you have, to, you, have to try, you have to try to solve. He's, you know, he's, exactly. he's unique. So it's always fun, you know, to play against him. Yeah. One player that could do it, man, yeah. solve that puzzle is you. Oh, man, I'm I mean, trying. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They don't. They don't call you the best, uh, best player, big man in Europe for six years for no reason. Oh man, so. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, what about team? Is there a team other than you know, obviously your team? Is there a team that you that you enjoy watching? That you enjoy, you know, on a Thursday, Friday night when you guys aren't playing, that you're, you're tuning in and watching to see how they do? To be honest, man, last couple of years I've I've liked the FS. Yeah. Uh, they played together, man, a long time. It's kind of like how you guys were in uh, Cheska mm-hmm. the last two years. Um, you know they 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 know each other. They play well together, man. They all know their roles, so it's fun. Uh, it's fun watching them, man. It's fun. Uh, you know they play nine, ten guys that know how to play. So that's a fun team to watch. Uh, who else? I mean, there's a lot of like like you said. The Euro League is uh is big this year. Yes, yeah. they've gotten a lot of good players. Uh, Barcelona, man, is an unbelievable roster. Uh, watching them play is a uh, Special, so a lot of teams. I think for me, I would say effort. I would say effort. I I enjoy watching Efes play this season. Um, I think also Zalgaris, um, because you know that they're they're going to play hard. Um, you know, Sardis has hard, man. has that team playing hard, and it's always fun to kind of because they're going to get after it. And I think uh, Maccabi Maccabi this year. Um, I think I just about Maccabi. yeah, they, right, man. They they've been fun to watch. Like I've, I've tuned into their games a lot, and every game they play, you know, so far this season has been um, has been exciting. We're at kind of at the the clutch moments of the season. Um, the playoff race is, is upon us. Um, so, what do you yep. guys need to do um, to support to secure your uh, your playoff spot? Man, um, we got we got a tough schedule. Uh, we got a tough schedule up ahead of us. Uh, you know, we lost four out of five, so we got to get on the winning track, which hopefully will start Tuesday. And then, um, like I said, we got at Fenerbahce, at FS. We got you guys at home, Maccabi at home. Kimki at home, so we gotta we gotta get it together, or we're gonna be in trouble. Mm-hmm. So I hope that we uh, we find the right way to play uh, solid at the end of the season to play our best basketball during the playoffs. It's good, man. And I know you guys got I know you guys got you know fighting for that home court. Yeah, I mean so it's it's the, got, it's the same. I mean you guys are I think we're three games um, separate each other, so th- yep. with maybe eight games remaining, so we're still you know we're still even though we're you know have a kind of a solid position, we're still trying to fight for not only home court but. To, to secure our playoff spot, you know, I mean, you know, how your league is. It can go, yeah. it can go either way. Go either way. You can go either way. You can either way. You can have a, you can have a bad week, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, you, you find yourself in a uh, different point of the standings, or you can have a great week, and all of a sudden, you could be, in, you know, in the top four, top five. So, uh, for sure. That's, that's and you know, it all depends on playing good basketball at the right time. Definitely, definitely. And my, my okay. last, my last question before we get out of here is, uh, what is your favorite part about playing your league basketball? Favorite part is I think uh, it's every game counts, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played in the NBA for two years, and you know you go. Uh, there's so many games that you can go and lose, you know, four or five in a row, six in a row, and it's not a problem. But uh, Euroleague, at the end of the year, every game is going to count, and uh, in the standings, and uh, so you got to play it and bring it every night. And uh, I think that's um, how I like the Euroleague much better. Uh, to bring it, you know, to to not just let a game go or things like this. I think 
you know in the standings, you know the pressure that Cheska has. Definitely. I know the pressure that Pantanecos has. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't happy if you come in uh, and you don't bring it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's competitive every night, man. So I appreciate yeah. you, man. I appreciate you taking the time um, out. Um, good luck this weekend. I mean, good luck this week. Appreciate um, it. Good luck the rest appreciate of the season. It, um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll see each other soon. Yes, sir. See you Thursday, man. All right, man. Take care. Thank you for having me. All right.